I don't know about you, but spring is my favorite time of the year. Everything is blooming, the weather is getting warmer, but yet we still have those cozy days with spring snowstorms and April showers. I just love the springtime. And I especially love to make springtime amigurumi. So in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you 14 crocheted amigurumi patterns that scream spring. These are going to be a combination of free and paid patterns. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into it with the free patterns. The first pattern I want to talk about today is not necessarily amigurumi, but it is close enough in my book, and that is these chicken coasters. This is a pattern by Denton Foreman, and I found this one on Ravelry. It is a free download, and I love when Ravelry has the PDF downloads. Oh, it's so nice. But just look at these darling chicken coasters. So cute. The brown, black, and white are perfect for any chicken lover in your life or someone that you know that raises their own chickens. I have a lot of family members that actually raise their own chickens and this would be the perfect gift for all of them. I haven't had a chance to make this pattern yet but I was just kind of browsing through it and it looks fairly straightforward and simple but there is a lot that goes into each row. So this pattern might be geared to more advanced beginners or intermediate crochet artists. They look fairly simple and quick to make, and I will definitely be making a few of these come springtime. The next pattern that I wanna talk about is this crochet granny square chicken. My goodness, I love this thing. This is a pattern by Sweet Softies. I do talk a bit about Sweet Softies patterns. I think they're really nice and I love their free amigurumi patterns. I think they're wonderful. And this granny square chicken is so cute. I just picture this with all of the farmhouse decor that a lot of people love. It's cozy, it's cottagey, it's chickens and cute and springtime. Oh my gosh. I want to make one of these so badly. According to a Sweet Softies blog, this pattern is actually made by combining two granny squares together. And this pattern is listed as a easy or beginner pattern. So if you're looking for something for your next craft fair, or if you have one of those beautifully decorated farmhouse themed homes, I think this would be a great addition to your collection. The next pattern is from Little World of Whimsy. Little World of Whimsy is just an icon when it comes to free amigurumi patterns and amigurumi resources. Let's be honest, just an amazing blog that we all love. And I wanted to highlight the strawberry or the strawberry bear pattern. I did want to mention that in order to view this free pattern, I do believe you need to sign up on Little World of Whimsy's blog. Now I have in the past, but I couldn't remember my login. And so I was blocked out of the pattern. So I didn't get a chance to look at the pattern before I made this video. But based off of the Little World of Whimsy patterns I have done in the past and the size and shape of this bear, I imagine this is definitely a more beginner to advanced beginner pattern. The size is really cute. It looks like it fits just right there in the palm of your hand, which means it should work up fairly quickly. And I do feel strawberries are really popular right now. They've always been popular, right? But especially now, strawberries are everywhere. Everyone loves the strawberry cows, the bears, the animals. It's just so trendy. So this fits in perfectly with all of those other wonderful strawberry amigurumi that you are making. Check out the strawberry by Little World of Whimsy. The next pattern I want to talk about is one that I can't believe I haven't made yet. And those are the spring chicks from A Menagerie of Stitches. I've mentioned it a million times. Lauren Espy, A Menagerie of Stitches, is one of my all-time favorite amigurumi designers who doesn't have her whimsical stitches book. Just an amazing and well-loved designer all around. And these little spring chicks are so cute, especially the ones with the little spectacles. Darling absolutely love them. You can make them in so many different colors. They look like they do work up fairly quickly. The perfect addition to any craft market. I've done a ton of Lauren Espy's patterns and her patterns are clear, concise, 
And I would say this pattern definitely looks like a beginner pattern. The body seems to be just a sphere. You have cute little beak and then even the wings are just some spirals. So if you are fairly new to making amigurumi or to crochet, I would highly recommend checking out Lauren Espy's patterns in general, but especially the spring chicks because it is a free pattern and it is perfect for this time of the year. The next pattern on our free list is this cute little spring duck. Lots of winged animals for our free pattern roundup. I didn't realize that till now. Anyways, this little duck, so cute. This is a pattern by a Spin a Yarn Crochet. It is free on their blog and I like this one just because it is using a honey bunny yarn and who doesn't love a fun chenille fluffy duck. I did read through the pattern and it seemed fairly simple and straightforward. I would say a advanced beginner pattern for sure. And Spin a Yarn Crochet does a great job of showing a lot of photos on their blog post. I do find that when it comes to free projects on blogs and things, sometimes there aren't as many photos, which is acceptable of course, but it is really nice when a free pattern does give you some really good progress photos so you can compare and see what needs to be worked where and all of that good stuff. The darling little bucket hat that this duck has, too cute. I had so many bucket hats in the 90s. I was a bucket hat fiend and now they are so popular again and I think it's so fun. I do have a lot of yellow chenille yarn that I've been wanting to work through. So I think this is the next project that I will be putting onto my hook. I have never crocheted a spin a yarn crochet design before. So I'm really excited for this one to be my first one. The last free pattern I wanna talk about is the Spring Fairy House. This is a pattern by Crafty is Cool. I did find this one on Ravelry and the pattern is free on Crafty is Cool's blog. And from my understanding, this was a pattern that was designed for Michaels and I think that's way cool. This is the perfect addition to any type of spring decor that you have in your home. This little mushroom fairy house is so cute and whimsical. I have a young child who loves fairies and I can just imagine her going crazy over this thing. Based off of what I see reading through this pattern, this pattern does seem like a more intermediate pattern. This is not something I don't think that's gonna work up terribly quickly, but all of the time and effort that you do put into this one will result in such a cute and springtime setter piece that all of that time is going to be worth it. That's it for all of our free patterns. Let's go ahead and dive into our paid patterns. Personally, I like to buy a lot of my patterns from Etsy. All of the patterns are linked down below, so feel free to purchase whatever pattern on whatever selling platform you prefer to use. The first one I wanna talk about is this super cute superhero bunny. This is a pattern by Cute Patterns by Ya, and oh my goodness, Crocheting a bunny at springtime, we all love it. So cute. Make him a superhero and I'm 100% in. The little mask and cape and britches with this darling little carrot. Oh my gosh, I just love this thing. You could change up the colors in so many ways, make it so unique to you or whoever you're making this amigurumi for. This one is definitely in my cart and I'm hoping to get around to it before the springtime is over. Let's continue on with our bunny theme with a pattern by Crochet Funny Friends, one of my favorite designers. Oh, I love their pattern so much. This is the bunny carrot pattern. This pattern is super cute because you think it's just an ordinary, normal carrot amigurumi, but you unbutton those buttons, flop open those darling big ears, and you have this adorable springtime bunny rabbit. Growing up, I did have a gray flop-eared bunny and she had such giant ears that would cover up everything. Oh my gosh, I loved her so much. And when I saw this pattern, I just was called back to that time in my life. And I really love this designer's patterns, so I highly recommend you check out this one. 
This pattern is listed on Etsy as an intermediate pattern, so if you are new to crochet or amigurumi making, you might want to get a couple of amigurumi under your belt before you tackle this one. Let's move on to something a little bit more cuddly. This pattern is the Baby Sheep pattern by the designer Lulu Baby Toy. This is such a cute sheep lovey. I think it is so sweet. I love the embroidered face. Safer for a younger child. Just keep in mind, Babies and children can tear lots of things apart, even if you think you made it very sturdy. So always be cautious when giving any handmade toy to a young child. But even if this is an heirloom piece for a nursery or however you want to do it, I think this sleeping baby sheep is so sweet. Next up, we have another pattern from another one of my favorite designers, and that's Natura Crochet. This is Florence the Elephant, and my goodness gracious, I love this. I saw all of the bright colors and that darling daisy and I knew it was the perfect springtime pattern to add to this video. Nature of Crochet's patterns are so cool. They are just so unique and fun and I love them. They're colorful, so stylized. I just love everything about this designer. And the little polka dotted ears of this elephant are just the perfect unique touch to this pattern. This pattern is listed as an intermediate pattern and based off of what I have made in the past from Nature of Crochet, you do want to have a little bit more knowledge when it comes to crochet and amigurumi making. But if you're like me and you're looking for something unique colorful and fun for springtime, definitely check this one out. Let's continue on with another feathered friend, shall we? And that is Cassie the Goose. This is a pattern by Crochet Elaine Toys, and I think this one is so darling. Look at her little headscarf, her darling basket of veggies, and her sweet little embroidered dress. Just so cute. This designer makes very lovely and beautiful toys. I just love their kind of aesthetic. I think it is so sweet and soft and lovely. This is listed as a intermediate pattern, so keep that in mind if you are looking to make this one, but another feathered friend for our collection of springtime patterns. This one's not too crazy, but this is Fungo the Forest Gnome. Let's be real. Mushrooms, they're in, they're hot, and you add a little funny guy to it, I'm gonna love it. This pattern is listed as a beginner pattern, so I think that's great. I think this one could be really fun to change up all of the colors, and you could have something super unique, super foresty, and super springtime focused. I just love it. I think it's darling, and I'm hoping to make this one soon. Now this one I have to make. There is no denying it. I will be making this amigurumi at some point, and that's this amigurumi B by Little Inspiring Soul. We've seen a bajillion amigurumi bees, right? One of the most popular things to crochet. This bee? Yes. Look at how funny and silly and unique he is. I love it. I love this pattern designer. I have a couple of their patterns. They are so unique and stylized. I love his funny little expression. I love the use of the button for the eye. It gives a very kind of creepy Neil Gaiman Coraline type of feel to it. And oh, it's so good. You can make him in so many cool colors, not only for spring, but for spooky season and the holiday season. You could just make the coolest bee for any time of the year. He is something that will be on my hook this springtime. Don't know when, but it's gotta happen. Love this amigurumi bee. So keep an eye out. He'll probably be in a roundup soon. <laughs> Which leads me to the last pattern that I want to talk about. The one that excites me the most. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get around to making this one, but I would love to. And that is Fina the Sloth. Look at this granny sloth. Her beautiful shawl, her basket full of wool, her darling little frilled cap. I just love this. Even her glasses just something so amazing about this pattern. This is a pattern by Verma Toys, and I don't believe I've actually made anything from this pattern designer before. However, I have a ton of their patterns on my wish list, so I think this is the first one I need to try. It's not your typical springtime pattern, but there was something about this granny sloth that just really made me think about a cozy farmhouse cottage. The weather outside is not cold, but it's not too hot either, and you're sitting in your cozy rocking chair 
they're crocheting or knitting up a project that you're putting all of your heart and soul into. Oh my gosh, I just love this pattern. It is so sweet. It makes me so happy just to look at it. But that's it for my springtime pattern roundup. Let me know which pattern you really liked or what your spring crochet plans are. I love all of your comments and I think you are so creative and you inspire me every single day. So be sure to list what you're working on down below. But that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you so much. I hope you have a happy end of winter time and I will see you all a little later. Bye. Mm -hmm.